Hi, my name is Mark Chavez, and I'm uh, uh, currently living in Singapore and in Los Angeles. I split my time between the two countries, and uh, I'm a uh, I've been in the animation industry since uh, 1980. Some of my first credits were in 1982 when I worked on the uh, uh, Ozzy Osbourne's Madman of uh, Diary of a Madman tour. So I did the laser bat that Ozzy actually ate. It was all an optical illusion he grabbed and ate it, but it was laser, and he may have had had a prop at some point, but. Uh, that was kind of so I've been doing this stuff for a long time. And you know, the thing about working in animation is that you you always have to keep up with stuff. Things are always constantly changing. And so uh, I've decided when I saw this uh new wave of uh uh AI animation coming up, uh that I'd give it a shot. So uh I started working with this stuff about a year and a half ago. And uh the first piece I want to show you is called uh, Mitla Underground. Now, th the reason I made this was because I, I traveled to Teotihuacan and I had met this guy, Sergio Gomez Chavez, who uh, granted me permission to uh, go down into uh, this tunnel that goes beneath the Temple of the Plume Serpent. And the feelings and uh, uh, things that I experienced there, or I tried to express in, in this piece, which uh, 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 covers this new uh, finding in Mitla. It's Mitla, and Mitla means underground, underworld. So it's Mitla pipe to underworld. So uh, could we play the video, please?
Hi. Uh, so that film uh, was kind of a very emotional piece, you know, after having gone to, you know, uh, underneath the, uh, you know, Temple of the Plume Serpent, and, you know, this Mexico thing. It was very nice to go back to it. It kind of reminds me of my first film that I made uh, was uh, Omiotl, which, you know, <laughs> which was projected on the side of the federal building during the Olympics. So it's kind of a callback and I'm revisiting some of that iconography. But also, you know, also what I'm really interested in and, you know, what my talk is about, and I wish my uh, partner, Ina, could be with me, but unfortunately she had a family emergency. We're looking now at, uh, heavily at uh, theoretical uh, physics, uh, quantum physics actually. And uh, we've, we found this kind of method of, of explaining it by, uh, uh, through, through graphics. And, you know, the first film we made was called Quantum Logos that we'll show after this film. But uh, this, this film, Moi Rai, uh, Thread of Life, I'm gonna premiere here and uh, I'll stay quiet through the whole film. It's it's uh, expresses uh, it, it's it's uh, an imagery that explores quantum uh, theory. But the, you know we studied it. We had a a, a collaborator, Rainier Dumke, who's a, a Nobel Prize winning uh, uh, physicist. I believe he's Nobel Prize uh, uh, in. Uh, Singapore at Nanyang Technological University. So he he was a he was a co uh, uh, collaborator, or I think he was a co PI on this. This is all funded through the university, and uh, you know. Uh, so please enjoy this one. It's called Moi Rai, Thread of Life. This is the premiere.
so that film was partially done uh, using pre-visualization uh, with AI. Some of the really wild shots, like the shot where uh, the girl is, uh, they're twisting in fabric. Those were inspired by, by, by that. And actually, we have a making of film that uh, we can play next that uh, I can talk over as we go through it. But, uh, you know, so this is informed by AI and also uh, these, the queries that we use were uh, on, on some of the inspiration shots. And I had been doing a number of inspirational uh, AI uh, generate images with uh, using luchadoras and uh, AI or, you know, lu can luchadoras surf uh, quantum waves and gravity waves or that kind of stuff. So I was um, messing around with a lot of that stuff. So this is a, a making of that uh, we have this great team in Singapore uh, that, you know, I was, I moved out there to set up a, an art school and uh, these are some storyboards from it. Uh, and various uh, you know, color palettes. So these these are my, our our ex students, but they since you know 15 years later we've st stayed 10 to 15 years later we've stayed very good friends, and we've actually done uh, I believe three films with them, three ind independent films. So uh, we we raise the money through the university, and then the university gives us. Uh, uh, let's us spend it how, how we want and, and in this case we spent it uh, with them and it was during COVID it was a really difficult time because my wife uh, got really sick she uh, got a, a, a form of cancer that was curable fortunately she made it through and now we're, we're looking for the next chapter of work that we're going to do but uh, uh, this is again you know we, we work closely with uh, physicists and uh, closely in the style of work we do with uh, our animators is, is very back and forth. Well, we give them, of course, a storyboard, and they come back with ideas, and we go back and forth. It's very, very much a, a respectful uh, uh, collaboration with them. We're not just telling them, "No, you got to make this, got to stick to that, stick to that," because there is, you know, it is Singapore, and there is a lot of uh, uh, work that comes out from overseas, and that, that's uh, imp imposed upon them. They they must do things in particular ways. So that's Crave Effects. And then uh, the school that we helped set that we set up was School of Art, Design, and Media. And then, of course, you know, thank you to the Ministry of Education in Singapore for supporting this project. We're hoping to get you know even more money for another project or many uh, new projects. So the reason that we had gone into this kind of approach was because earlier on, I when I was you know thank uh, very gratefully. Uh, an artist in residence here at uh, in Los Angeles at UCLA with a, a, a speaker that'll appear a little bit later, Victoria Vesna and her Art and Science Center. Uh, she was very gracious, her and her husband, uh, Jim Gavelsky. I always mess up the name, sorry, Jim. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, they invited us in. He's a quantum, uh, well, he's a, a, a scientist in the, uh, uh, his daughter's here, nanotechnology. <laughs> and uh, he's really a, a top level, you know, emeritus and, uh, and uh, really at, at the top of his game as is uh, Victoria. And so they introduced me to all these really wonderful people. And, you know, I got and went to these great lectures and uh, I was very inspired to make the next piece that you're gonna see, which uh, this piece, uh, uh, it's Quantum Logos Vision Serpent. Is uh, uh, is inspired by research I did on on you know uh, the use of ethnogen.
and took the top border off, the lower border off, and then I put it on this wall that we have in Singapore. It's called the BDR Nexus uh, wall screen. We have this 15 meter by two meter wall over there that uh, allows us to do anything we want, just experimentation. So I put this on it. So if you can imagine, you know, 50, 5,000 people walking by this playing every day at certain hours, I vary it, various hours. Uh, it's all done in touch designer, by the way, too. And uh, with GLS all shaders, all generative. So if you can imagine like 5,000 people walking by this, you know, Indians from, you know, various cities in India, Chinese from all over China. I mean, you know, because it's a big Mecca. NTU is a, a big research university. And uh, this project, so... Uh, was exposed so it has it changed i mean the whole idea of us having this wall in singapore on uh, this media wall where all these people just walk by has created a kind of way of a it's it's raised the level of the wall it feels nicer it's a nicer space
recently, the work that I've been exploring is uh, machine learning generated or search engine, image search engine generated artworks because uh, the places they open up, the things like I've been using a, as a prompt call, uh, a Jaina or Mayan figurines, which are these little, pup, little clay puppets that, that they found in this uh, Campeche region of an uh, island off of a, it was a burial site and for the Mayans. And there's just thousands of them, well, at least hundreds of them. And they're all in different poses, doing different things. They're very, very expressive little clay uh, uh, objects. So that, and I've been mixing science fiction or Mexican science fiction. And then these prompts have, you know, that I use I, are maybe 71 prompt long with each one having maybe about 10 words in it. So they're very complex uh, prompt, prompt structure. And, you know, uh, so I, I've, I've ban managed to generate an interesting world. I have this in interesting space that we're in, that I, I'm in now. So now I have to kind of see if I can use the, you know, any other geometry generating, you know, uh, NERFs, I, I think they were calling it, uh, any other kind of additional animation that I can bring, bring to it. So I'm going to start looking at that. We have great collaborators over in Singapore, so I do like being over there. We are approached by Tomas, uh, uh, Tomas Bindas. I can't remember his last name. But Tomas and June over there, June's going to be doing the next Sigraph Asia. She's going to be chairing it down in Sydney. And so her and her, her partner are really great collaborators are with us. And so and her, her uh, partner is a academic research uh, uh, lead at uh, NVIDIA. So we can't, we're li really looking forward to uh, doing what we have. We have some other things working with uh, some uh, large uh, investment firms. And, and then of course the university, it's a, quite, a, quite a good thing. It's been a good run and uh, we'll probably, you know, be, be expecting uh, at least yearly. I mean, you know, um, Midla uh, Underworld, uh, I made in about a week in about a week. So you can really generate, and that's a three minute film, but you can really generate this stuff fast. So I'm anticipating that uh, uh, it's gonna be a pretty productive next uh, coming, at least five years. So thank you so much. And I want a shout out to Pepe Serna. You know, thank you for calling me out yesterday at the Palm Springs Art Festival or uh, Film Festival. And of course, Danny Hastings. And uh, thank you so much.